Curtis Aldrich. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new Critical Universal Battery and Dock. I would like to take a second to thank Kingpin Tattoo Supply for sending these over in exchange for an honest review. Everything comes very well packaged and is surrounded by a dense but yet soft foam. Each battery comes with its own USB Type-C charging cord and instructions. Whereas the dock comes with the charging cord as well as the charging block that plugs into the wall. The Critical Universal Battery is the first wireless battery pack that utilizes the Critical Core. Created for consistent power and extreme accuracy. It has a very crisp LED readout that displays your voltage and battery level. The buttons are very tactile and it has an extremely ergonomic design. For the voltage range we're looking at 4.5 volts to 13 volts. The weight is 2 ounces, the length is a little under 2.5 inches, the diameter is about an inch and a quarter. When the battery reaches 5%, a low battery icon is displayed along with a beep for 5 seconds at every minute. This battery also has temperature protection. The power will shut off if temperatures ever reach an unsafe level of 176 degrees Fahrenheit. My very first impressions are that the buttons and click feedback is very much a quality experience. You can tell that this is a company that specializes in power supplies. Also, the magnetic dock is an overall very well functioning attractive system. For this test I will be using two machines for very specific reasons, the Axis Valhalla and the Axis Feiyu. The Axis Valhalla has a larger battery and quite a few moving parts so it will require more battery consumption. We will call this worst case scenario. On the other hand, the Feiyu has a small battery with very little moving parts and will require less battery consumption. We will call this best case scenario. I'll be maxing out the voltage on the critical batteries while connected to the machines as well as keeping a cartridge inserted for resistance to see how long they will last but no skin will be used in the experiment. As a control I will be conducting the same study with a battery in the same price range to see what kind of result we can produce. Now the critical can go up to 13 volts but the competition can only go to 12 volts. So to keep things even I'll be running both batteries at 12 volts on each individual machine. Just know that if you run your critical battery pack at 13 volts, you will have a slightly shorter battery life. Also, all batteries will be coming straight off the charger with a fresh charge. I know that there may be better alternatives out there, potentially a better experiment that I could conduct, but I'm using what I have. If you have done your own experiment, please let us know how it went in the comments. So starting with the Axis Valhalla with the critical battery pack attached, we had a low battery indicator at 3 hours and 18 minutes, and the battery eventually went dead at 3 hours and 26 minutes. Whereas our control battery gave us a low battery indicator at 2 hours and 23 minutes, and went completely dead at 3 hours and 20 minutes. As for the Axis Feiyu, with the critical battery pack attached, we had a low battery indication at 6 hours and 50 minutes and it went completely dead at 7 hours. With our control battery pack attached, we had a low battery indication at 5 hours and 5 minutes with a completely dead battery at 6 hours and 35 minutes. Let's go over some pros and cons starting with the cons. This battery will make your machine a little under 2.5 inches longer and 2 ounces heavier on the top. If your machine is already quite long and or top heavy, I wouldn't recommend buying these. The Axis Valhalla is already a long and slightly top heavy machine so the experience isn't that pleasant but manageable. Again I would say that this is worst case scenario. If your machine is shorter and a little lighter up top you should be good to go. For example the FK Zion which feels incredible in hand and is arguably better than its intended battery that was made for it. 
And the pros. The advantage of the universal battery pack is just that. It's universal. Pick your favorite machine, plug it in, and you are now wireless. Within the comfort range we mentioned a moment ago, height, weight, etc. Unlike machines that have a battery built right in, with a fixed stroke or lack of give or whatever you're into, this can be placed on most anything. This also keeps your machine more versatile, with the ability to plug into a power supply if for some reason you ever find yourself needing that. I also like that there isn't any annoying flashing lights that distract you while you're tattooing, just a beep that gives you about a 7-10 to 10 minute warning before the battery completely dies. My final thoughts are if you are willing to pay the money, it doesn't get much better as far as universal batteries are concerned. From the overall user quality like display, voltage range, buttons, power delivery, and battery life, reliability, to the simple and clean docking system, and the one year warranty, I would say this is worth the investment. Some would argue that buying a couple cheap batteries from Amazon that work okay for what they do is just fine, and I'm here to tell you that you should do whatever makes sense to you.